Very cool, we're at Mattress Recycling and Fabio. This is amazing because I had no idea that there's so many elements that go into an actual mattress, but what you guys do here is break it down and separate all the different parts of a mattress and recycle it, right? Yeah, that's right, and thanks for, jo for joining us this morning. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah we recycle over 90% of each mattress, and we break it down into all the valuable components that you see around us. So these are the most valuable uh, parts we're looking at right now. This is essentially the foam that goes inside your mattress, right? That's right, this is the foam, and it's, uh, quite, it's worth quite a lot. Uh, it turns into um, carpet underlay. Uh, locally. Okay, and obviously and then, the steel is, is very valuable these days, and this is a big part that goes into the, the, you know, the box spring that makes up your mattress. Why is that so valuable? Well, steel has just such a big uh, recycling market, right. and uh, we work with the, the local guys to, they basically crush the steel and turn it into uh, uh, bales, yeah. and then they'll, they'll make it into new products like cars, rebar, um, that sort of stuff. Wow, it's, it's sort of environmental entrepreneurialism at its best, you know? Yeah. And then this part here is fascinating because this is part of a mattress but this is actually made of coconut husk. It's an old material that they, they used in uh, mainly box springs. Um, since since then, they've actually changed to felt, but we find so much of it, and we use it for, um, we send it out to farms, and they use it for weed suppression and uh, ground cover, sort of. Yeah. So it's it, it stays local as well, and there's just so much material. Well, um, I... I just love how all the different elements, uh, they sort of go to different companies for all kinds of different uh, f you know, uses, uh, and they get turned into something completely different at times. Absolutely. There's a use for everything. Yeah. Um, we're, we, we really pride ourselves in trying to find a market for every material that comes out of the mattress. Okay. And, and we do so many of them. For example, this is uh, coconut, or sorry, this is raw cotton, cotton batting. Now, it, I could see that being very valuable, because this seems like it, it's good stuff and can be turned into something, uh, you know, like go back into a couch or something. Exactly. Exactly. So they, they turn this into uh, basically stuffing for couches. Yeah. Um, it's it's quite a nice material to work with. It makes good bales. You can see the the bale weight on the front here, 669 pounds. Wow. Yeah. Just lift that up. <laughs> and then finally over here, this represents the 10% uh, of what uh, is residual waste. So uh, you can't exactly recycle everything, but you're still trying to work on uh, doing something with this waste so it doesn't go completely in the garbage, right? Exactly. And what is that? That's the uh, the felt. Yeah, that's the felt. Um, it's and it's sort of soil materials yeah. and sometimes it's if, if there's a lot of moisture you can't really use it right um, so so this we're actually working with local universities um, okay. and, and sort of local companies to try to to go zero waste because our mandate is zero waste um, we're really environmentalists at heart so yeah. uh, even though we recycle so many mattresses we you know we we really want to find uses for, for awesome. all Awesome. Right? Fabio, great stuff. Yeah. We're here all morning long. Thanks Thank a lot. Yeah. yeah, mattress recycling, guys. Coming up a little bit later, we're going to be uh, actually uh, cutting into one of these mattresses to see all the uh, inner workings of it. But it's amazing that all these components can be, can, can be recycled into different things and uh, go off to different companies. Good morning, and thank you, Freddie, for uh, picking an appropriate bed song because we're talking about mattresses. We're at Mattress Recycling. Fabio, what an amazing uh, environmental entrepreneurial story. You guys take mattresses. 90% of them can be recycled, right? That's right, yep, and this is where it all happens. So what, disassembling. What's actually happening here? There, a lot of them come in this plastic casing, right? That's right. Um, so Warren's just taking the plastic casing off and separating each mattress into all their components. Um, taking the foam, the, the cotton, um, the synthetic fabrics. Wow, and you see when he opens it up there, just an idea of how many components actually do go into a mattress. Uh, and a lot of them, oh, 90% of them can be used again. Now this poses a bit of a challenge. This is sort of the new Tempur-Pedic uh, design for, for uh, mattresses with these coils, but they, they're right. quite time consuming, right? They really are. Um, this is a pocket coil mattress, so the, the bowling ball adds. This is what's inside most of them. Right. And um, Safir here is di he's disassembling them and taking the steel out. Yeah. Um, it's quite time consuming. Um, but it's it's you know it's very valuable yeah, oh, no steel doubt. right okay. so um, th that's what we do it's it's a uh, it's a process awesome okay thank you stand by <laughs> thank you. yeah, and welcome. I'm gonna go over here and talk to Malcolm Brody you're the mayor of Richmond thanks for joining I am. us I am. but you're also the chair of the zero waste committee for Metro exactly. Vancouver talk to us how about uh, you know a place like this you I mean we see people working how it creates jobs this is a perfect example of the industry that sprung up as the result of recycling the clean recyclables if there's a reliable source 
years, you have industries that have, have sprung up. So I'm told that there's about 107, 170 employees in the region that are doing just this kind of work. Yeah. So all this product can be recycled, uh, so it's good for the economy and it's great for the environment. And no pun intended with sprung up, right? <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> and also, quickly, we want to mention an app that people can get through Metro Vancouver if they have questions right. about where to recycle stuff. That's right. Uh, for your iPhones, you can get an app. It's called We Recycle. It shows 1,500 different locations. All you have to do yeah. is you go into the app, is you download it for free, uh, you put in the product that you want to recycle, and it will tell you where you can take it. And it's a list that will be given to you, prioritized by location. So the closest location will be at the top of the list. Excellent. And so you can uh, you, you can go into that app. It will also tell you other materials that a particular location will take. Okay, thanks a lot, sir. Michelle, you heard him. Get the app and you can figure out where to send all your recycling if you have a question about it. Fascinating stuff here at Mattress Recycling. Yes, you guys, we're at Mattress Recycling here just off Marine Drive uh, near the Knight Street Bridge on Sherbrooke. And this is fascinating because, Fabio, I had no idea there were so many components to a mattress, but you can actually recycle 90% of your old mattress. Tell us what we're doing right here because you've got some big machines working. That's right. Back here, uh, the crew, they're baling the materials okay. into basically 800-pound blocks of um, specific sorted materials. It's massive. Um, and, that's, and last year, we recycled uh, 10 million pounds of, of materials from mattress mattresses, which is 105,000 mattresses in 2014. That sounds like an astounding number of mattresses. And Nelson, if you can get a shot over there of the uh, the bales once they're kind of finished, that's essentially what it looks like when it's all bundled up, right? That's right, yeah. Okay, now talk to me about how people can get involved because say I've got an old mattress, I don't want to take it to the dump, but uh, I may not be able to come down here. So what are my options? For sure. Um, yeah, if you can't make it to our, our facility, we're open seven days, um, but you can also go to a transfer station, um, Coquitlam Transfer for station, even the, the Delta landfill, right. and bring your mattress there, and it'll actually get transferred to a recycling facility that's licensed by Metro oh, Vancouver. Wow. So it doesn't go into landfill, it doesn't go into incineration, and it's uh, it's kind of a win-win. And you know, I, I just, it breaks my heart when I see mattresses left out in, in the rain in the, in the alley. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, it, it's like there's a home for them now. You, you mentioned it's only 10% residual waste, but even that is getting looked at into it's sort of like using it for some other purpose, right? Exactly. Our, our mandate is zero waste. Yeah. And, um, you know, the, the real question is what is waste and, and why do we produce so much of it and how can we reduce that? Yeah. So what we're doing is we're separating all the materials and trying to find trying to find uh, markets or solutions for all the materials. Well, it's fascinating stuff. I'm glad we're hanging out with you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Yeah. We've got one more segment coming up a little bit later, you guys, but uh, stick around because we've got a weather report with Russ in a moment. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. So I'm with Fabio here at Mattress Recycling, and we're inside a truck that just came in from Kitimat, right? That's right, Kitimat all the way up north in Kitimat from the Rio Tinto uh, Alcan project that's going on up there. And the mattresses were actually in the labor camp up there, right? They were, yeah, all uh, 150 of them that just came down, and Incredible. they're going to be bringing more trucks down soon. And you see just an example of how many you can cram in there, but you know, between 125 and 150. Yeah. These are some of the ones that just came off there. Uh, so it's an amazing process. Now, the thing is, uh, in Metro Vancouver, we're very uh, on top of the environmental initiative. Uh, I mean, people can come in here and and, um, they pay a little bit less than uh, taking the mattress to the landfill. But up in Kinemat and other surrounding uh, communities in the interior and things like that, uh, there are no initiatives in place. So they actually, um, there, there's not as much uh, financial incentive to, to bring it down here, but people are just taking a responsible approach in doing that, right? That's right. And kudos to them for taking on the, uh, the going from like the environmental yeah. perspective that they kind of have corporate social responsibility there. With because in places like Kinemat, you could just dump it in the landfill, right? But they're actually taking the charge and the initiative to bring it down here here to That's make sure right. that 90% of it gets recycled. And we're, we're, we're reaching out to uh, provincial municipalities right. to try to see if they can do the same thing and bring mattresses down for recycling because we can uh, break them down into all their components. Yeah, we saw those components earlier. Now talk to us because uh, you also do uh, you know recycle other elements. It's not just mattresses here. So if I uh, want to come down here and get other items recycled, what are some of the things that you could take care of for us? That's right. We're, we, we're open seven days a week and we accept um, all sorts of extra things, uh, including batteries, yeah. laptops, um, even odd things like candle wax. 
Um, we, candle wax can be recycled. That's right. We 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 give it to hobbyists, yeah. and they break it down into um, into new candles. Essentially, we also accept cigarette butts through TerraCycle, really? which is an amazing initiative. They make the cigarette butts into park benches yeah. and and other materials. And we had a gentleman come in in his car. He literally had the mattress on the top, and he was, uh, you know, taking part in an old cell phone. Uh, so it, it works from like a grassroots level with an in individual, or like a, a truck we see full of mattresses from Kitimat. So it really uh, it spans a lot of different uh, areas and, and uh, sort of numbers. So it, whether you've got a hundred uh, mattresses or just one, bring it on down. Absolutely, we're open every day, and uh, we we're here to serve the public. Yeah. And also, of course, if if it's closer, you can go to the Quitlam transfer station, yeah. and those mattresses will make their way to a recycling facility in Metro Vancouver. And you do couches as well, right? We do right? couches as well, yes. yeah, we forgot to mention that. Awesome. Yeah, couches, right. thank you so much. Daniel, thanks so much, yeah. fascinating stuff. Have a great day, yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, all right, guys, mattress recycling, come on down if you gotta get rid of an old mattress.